I'm Tuesday, everyone, and thanks for checking into Weatherbug. I'm meteorologist Todd Nelson. Hope you're doing all right and enjoying your last full week of October 2015. Of course, we're still dealing with some heavy rain across the south central U.S., but as the remnant moisture here from whatever's left over of Hurricane Patricia, well, that'll be picking up speed and lifting north right toward the Great Lakes region, meeting up with the Canadian cold front. And as that mixes together, we could have enough cold air for some snow in a few spots. And then looking at a weekend storm system to be once again affecting places here in the southern tier of the nation in the eastern U.S. But today, general thunderstorm risks in a few spots, central and southeastern U.S. And then as that storm system intensifies over the Great Lakes region, maybe enough forcing along the cool front east of the Appalachians for a couple of strong storms, which would include the D.C. area tomorrow afternoon and evening. And then Thursday, general thunderstorm threat over the southwest. All right, so we have this uh, remnant moisture from Patricia lifting north. And again, a Canadian cold front. As these two storm systems meet, they intensify together. The wind field is going to be pretty big. It is going to be pretty breezy across the area. And the heaviest rain will be east and northeast. And then that snowfall here on the western flank of it. Again, temperatures will be sub-freezing, just a little bit aloft here off the ground. So that might be cold enough temperatures here for a few snowflakes to make it down to the surface. And as you notice here over a five-day period, still picking up some additional precip over Texas. May help to uh, bring in some additional flood concerns. But the eastern U.S. is looking pretty wet. Nice to see some moisture here in the western U.S. as well. Even the Sierra Nevada range, the Rockies, the high elevation there, but also across uh, the northern tier of the nation on Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. Briefly, we warm up in the early part of November. It's not going to last very long. We do have some much colder temperatures wrapping in behind that. So again, looking at a brief warm up. And of course, here today, we're going to be watching the storm system pull down some chilly air to the far north. Temperatures will be below average there. Also well below average in the uh, eastern U.S., especially in Atlanta at D.C. at 59 and uh, 61 there in St. Louis with some scattered rain, maybe even a rumble of thunder.